So everyone, welcome to your 16th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called blending modes. Now what a blending mode does is pretty much take whatever scene that you're working on and it blends it with any of the layers under it. So uh, it might be kind of hard to understand, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Right here, we have the, um, uh, I believe this is the, let me see. Alright, this is the robot scene since he's doing the robot. And what I'm going to want to do is blend this with another layer under it. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is drag out another scene called Panorama. And uh, let me just uh, move this so you can see both layers at the same time. Now I want to get my robot scene on top, so I'm going to want to grab it and just drag it right on top like that. Now, whenever you apply a blending mode, it's going to blend it with any layer under it. So if you applied any blending mode to this scene, since it's the first layer, it's not going to do anything. You need to have layers under it for it to work. So go ahead and select your scene that's on top. And to see all the blending modes, you can do this a couple of ways. The first thing you can do is press F4 on your keyboard. And as you see, as you press F4, this little mode um, bar toggles on and off. You can also right click and press columns and modes. This will also bring it up without getting rid of anything else. So now that we have our modes, and remember you want to work with the topmost layer. Anything you apply to the bottommost won't show up at all. You can apply a bunch of different modes. If you uh, click that little arrow you can see all of the modes on here. Um, instead of just going through these, um, all of these effects, I'm just gonna show you guys what a couple of them do. Um, actually the best way is just to test them all out for yourself. And as you can see, I, uh, chose the multiply mode for this one. And what this does is kind of blends these two layers together. And, uh, each of these different modes brings out different effects. Like darken brings out the darkened pixels, lighting brings out the lighter pixels, overlay, these are the ones who blends it together. These are the ones who uh, really give you some nice contrast, this hard mix and vivid light and um, classic difference and stuff like that. So as you can see, whenever we apply a blending mode, the portion of the layer that's over the top layer blends with the bottom layers. And it gives you a really cool effect. Let me show you guys. This is classic. I'll show you guys um color. This gives it a new color. And another neat thing that you can do is you can let me go ahead and get rid of the panorama. You can also apply solids under these. And how you get a solid, I already have one right here, but if you want a solid color, all you have to do is go layer let me deselect that layer new solid and this is gonna allow you to get a solid color of video and if you're saying alright why is that useful I'll show you I got a red solid I already made right here and let me just put this behind by dragging this robot scene on top and now you can see that our layer is on top with red underneath and the cool effect that we can apply to this is hard mix so let me go ahead and apply where yeah hard mix and if you see if you watch the video it now gives you a cool effect just by using a solid color so again that's one way that you can use a solid color to create some cool video effects it doesn't always have to be two different scenes you can, you can also use this with um scenes, solid colors, text, anything like that. So again, what you're going to want to mostly do is just experiment with all of these. I could go through each of them, I'll tell you what they do, but that'll take forever and it'll get boring. So just experiment, have fun, and um, once you experiment with those and you feel comfortable with using blending modes, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.